Hey everyone, welcome back to the another wonderful project section. So today we're going to create a notes taking application with the help of React. Okay, to learn the advanced features and advanced hooks in React, we're going to learn it. Before we're going to start our project, let me show you what we're going to learn, what we're going to create in this project. Okay, so let me show you and. Uh, A simple design okay so I just say notes taking app okay let us go for any images I just click the UI I want okay and you can able to see this I just search for web okay now here somewhere you can search everything is a notes taking app only so pretty simpler look like this you can have a a button it is going to have an input box and or a text editor somewhat we're going to have and if we put the value it will be added to here and once we completed it you can just click on it it just get removed from the application so this is what much much similar to this okay so you need to take a notes and whatever you are taking it will be comes here like this okay so it is a google keep clone Okay, but we are not going to focus on the CSS part. We're going to focus on the functionality part that how React can able to come up with this. So the main idea, the main objective over this project is like with the help of React, how can we achieve this functionality? Okay, and how to use the state management much more effective with the help of use reducer and use context scope. So these two hoops are much more advanced hooks that is available so that we're going to learn and we're going to experiment this at the end of the day you're going to have a project assignment to also a little bit updation that you're going to do so throughout this you will learn that too okay so these two, two things you're going to learn state management and how to handle props and states in your react application first thing and then second thing is here we're going to put our hands together with the github version control also okay so i will show you how you can control most of the students asked me before how to use github can you give me an uh, example for this so i just going to use version control also in this project how can we keep track of our changes and how we can achieve this that is also we're going to learn it and we're going to see it okay so i just show you that okay so for that what i going to do first we need to create a file let me show you what all are the things that we actually needed to start with react application okay so let me go for here and in the project let me create an another folder and this is going to be a new folder and inside this it is going to be an let me consider notes app with advanced hooks okay don't start with ad hooks okay so for a little bit understanding so i just go inside this the first thing you need is a terminal so in my case i'm going to use hyper terminal okay so i integrated with git you can use git bash also it's completely up to you okay so here you can able to say i integrated with git so you can use the git bash that is also up to more okay so here the first thing what I need to do is first I need to install react so for that we know the command npx create dash react dash app and the name of the file that you need to create that is going to be notes okay I just keep it that simple and I just click enter okay and let's this is going to install all the dependencies and the folder for us inside this file you can able to see it is started to install now I just go and create a new tab. Well, here we're going to handle our GitHub. Okay, so how to keep track of the Git? Let, let I will tell you how you can do this. So first, what you need to do is you need to keep track not inside this one. Notes app add hooks, not inside this. Which application that I want to track? This folder. Okay, most people forgot to go here. So inside this only, I need to keep track of it. So I just going to change the directory cd2 cd is changing the directory 
it is going to inside if i type the name it is go inside that apply that particular folder what is the folder name notes now you can see right now i was in notes so here we can initiate like we can initiate the git okay so we can say git init okay so it is git is initialized it is an empty repository it is saying so now what i want to do is i just want to connect my git with github okay so the github is the place where we will store all the informations all the our code files so what i going to do here so this is not open your file where uh, your github has i just go for my github so this is my github i just going to say github.com okay if we go for github probably you will you need to create a sign up you need to sign up it like any other application you just want to sign up so once you sign up it you can see something like this or anywhere you will find your repository or create a repository just click on create a new repository something like this just click on here create new repository just click on new repository here okay once you click on this new repository it will ask you some details to enter and you can give any name but your name should be that is not already the already name that is not used in your repository okay you can give any name for my case i just not used any notes i just in notes okay you can see this is available checking for it is this i going to say notes app with notes app i can say notes app react okay let me give an underscore like this okay it will check it is available and you don't want to fill anything the description is about what is the project to solve that you want to kill and make sure it is a public one so what is the difference between public and private well if you want to create an website privately so you don't want to share any codes uh, anyone in this world don't want to see your thing you can create it company project personal project everything is private but if it is a open source anyone can see it then it is a public in our case it is a public because you need to see it and you need to work on it so that's the thing and read me file if you want you can add it so read me file is like pretty decent like description but it is an another md file that will tell elaborate version of yourself you don't want to add it don't change any other things here okay so just go and so here you can see we have git ignore also so here it will contain so much of things uh here itself you can add it or or else in another way is also there so i'm not adding here okay so i will tell you what is the use of git ignore i will just go and create repository just clicking on this so once it is created a folder is created you can see in my repository a folder is created so here if you scroll down you will see some of the command so the command is so here it is telling that a create a new repository on the command line then you need to type all the things get in it get add read me commit branch with the first commit main branch and add everything everything but in our case well we initiated the git before itself now what i need to do i just want to add this so what i'm doing is right now whatever the file uh, it is in my local host i need to connect with this particular folder right in this git repository so for this i need to use the command called git remote remote is the place in uh, github add origin okay so to this place where this link is present okay so i just want to copy this okay i just going to copy this one go for our branch and paste it here okay copy once again make sure it is copying and then paste it here okay you will get this and just click on it you don't get any warnings or error message kudos that you have done a good job okay so that's it now i just want to do one thing another thing is uh let us go here you can able to see this our github is there that is fine so everything uh, right now we have added and we have created and everything we have done okay to check with whether it is successfully created or not what you can do is just go here inside this and ask for git branch okay git branch sorry branch let me show you that uh, a little bit later so what are the things and here you can see this one right this is the main branch okay so if you want to create an another branch you can create it so i will show you that once we uh, if we need it but this application you don't need it let me go with basics then we can go for it so now you can see in my 
tech hari this is going to be my profile and inside this note uh, application is created you can see nothing is there right now it is empty so now what i going to do is the next thing what we need to do is this is the application the next open it with our code editor just going to open it with our code editor opening here now you can see this one right and here you can notice we have git ignore you just click here you can able to see some of the default thing is already there right so the default thing is already there make sure that if it is not there you need to add it most importantly the slash node modules so what is git ignore so git ignore is basically some of the files you don't want to upload okay you don't want to upload to github that is that files are mentioned here basically this environment of files yarn files main important node modules and this environment files because node modules is kind of packages it contains all the packages it contains around 300 to 400 mp or 200 mp something like size we don't want to add that okay so basically what we will do we will ignore it let's see how we can do this means let us go for here here and i just going to say git ls sorry simply i just going to say ls list down and here you can able to see what all are the things that are list down node modules is there package is there and so much of things is here and here i just going to say git add okay now you can see this what all are here what all are the things that is here added you can see this uh, what is this so actually what this git add is what what are you adding this so something that we need to whatever the file that here i just want to add to my remote repository right so for that you need to type add and give a space and just give dot so what it will do it will add everything to a staging area so staging area is the place where you can add it okay so uh, where you can put the code to ready it now you can check the status how it is working i just going to say git status if i put the status you can see what all are the files or in staging area which means ready to send to the remote repository okay what all are the files are there you can see the readme file is there package log package json all other files are there but not node modules is there why because node modules is mentioned in git ignore so it is ignored so no not no modules is here so that's the thing okay if you are not mentioning then it will be here that's the thing okay so you need to make sure you should not add your node modules to this file it will take so long and once you added it now you need to give a git commit so what is git commit is basically so it is a message that you are telling that what version of it so here i can say it is starting of my application starting of app okay starting of the app and i just give it here now you can see this a commit is made which means a particular version of this application is saved to the memory now if i ask for git log you can able to see this a long string and you can able to see this what it is this what the message that it is it is starting of the app so with the help of this git log if you made a mistake then you need to come back again to your older version with the help of this log you can able to come off this okay basically you are just uh, committing every time you are making any changes you are making a commit okay so in future you find out that this is not a valid i just want to go for my older one then you can with the help of this one you can come to the older one you don't want to erase the code and everything you can directly press the older one and you can start to work on it that is the thing and once we done i just go for our application here and still you can see nothing is here our file is not added why because right now locally it is committed i want to make i need to push my changes to the gimot repository so for that i need to write git push origin main so which branch that you want to push you need to push it in our case we have only one branch that is the main branch the default branch so once i push it you can notice that we will it will send to our file you can see this 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 main branch it will be pushed it is giving me the link also if i click the link let us go for github techery notes app and you can notice this here if i just give a refresh you can see our branch is added all the files are added and this is actually the readme file to show something here the elaborate version that is what readme file is and all other things has been added okay this is the version control okay so i will show you and i will keep track of you every time so the thing what you need to do is every time you are making a change you just want to commit your changes and at last once you done with the code today you completed the code then you can push it once you push the code then the previous code is changed to the old one for example what the for example what i going to do for show you the difference 
I just go here and here inside instead of this uh, uh, you can see index is there right here there is a fav icon is there I just click here and I just going to delete it here okay now I removed a file now I just go here and I just click inside this bubbly you can see this fav icon is still here right but this is the version that is in our online but uh, my uh, local version I made a change I deleted the fav icon so now what I can do is I just come to my file or go for here and here I can check git status and if I put git status it will give you a rough uh, thing that what you have done so there is something is deleted in the public fav icon is deleted this is the one change that you made compared to the previous version that is added in your remote so now what can I do okay I accept this version so I just going to say git add this version to my this version to my commit so I just going to say git commit dash m I can say I deleted fav icon like this and once it is done I just going to say git status now you can see sorry git uh, you can see log now you can see if I ask for git status no branch main nothing is that because everything is up to mark everything is committed so now I just ask for logs you can see two logs is here and right now we are in this log this is the origin main log and this is the head right now we are working on but this is the log that was posted in the remote so now here what I going to do git push origin code the changed code I need to push into it right main okay so I just going to say like this and now it is pushing once it is pushed I just ask for git log now you can see our remote repository is also in this branch and also here only now if I go for here they just give a refresh you can notice that inside public the fav icon is get deleted so this is how you need to keep track of it but if you want it previously you want it then what you can do with the help of the log you can get it so that is pretty next to it okay so now let us go and create our react we need to look into that okay I just going to delete like all other application I just going to delete this delete this delete this delete this delete this delete this just going to delete this delete this delete this delete this here delete and delete okay in index dot file in js is there in index dot file i don't want this react dot stick mode remove stick mode okay because it will render two times web vitals remove it remove the unwanted thing that you are importing okay don't remove the app we need it so i just going to remove it okay once i removed it okay so that's it so now it's time to start our application let us go for here and I can say npm start okay once you've done this let us come here and click you will just get on start we will see the basic application here then we will continue our app okay let's see if there is any error okay okay so we are here only so I just going to say cd to notes and then npm start like this okay yeah now you will get the local host so this is going to be your application so we are not going to uh, focus on the CSS part okay we are focusing more into the uh, which one the react hooks part how can we achieve how can we manage state so that is the one thing that we're going to focus not up to the CSS part okay so CSS you can build it okay either using Tailwind CSS it is cool you can learn Tailwind very easily so have a look into that okay or else I will inject my Tailwind CSS uh, in the upcoming project okay so now it's showing some errors don't care about the errors that it is showing okay so what we can do is so here only the error is happening so I just going to remove everything okay okay and here I just going to say h1 notes app okay so module is not found SVG logo icon well I remove this logo icon okay so this one it's saying let's have remove this one also we can just say import react from react 
<coughs> this one okay we are having this style so to show you a demonstration how tailwind css work i will incorporate a cdn okay so just going to for tailwind css just click on this uh, you can go for tailwind css not tailwind component tailwind css just go for the top of the page and just click on this and click on uh, not components tailwind ui.com tailwind css tailwind css and here you will get it so there is another way to import tailwind css now we will go for uh, uh, cdn just click on this cdn now you can have this one right just copy this one that's it fine go for your index.html below everything add above the title just add it so now you can able to use the cdn so for example here they have given some of the style i just going to add the style in our class okay just click on this one and just a minute i just go for this app.js and here i just going to say class name I'm just going to paste it here and i save it here let's come here where it's our note up notes application this is our note application you can see the changes right okay so these have some default changes and you can work on it for example i have i can say text center like this and you can see text center is there and uh, there is an extension is also there that will really help your uh, your uh, tailwind css to work on it and you will create like something very little bit beautiful the application like this okay okay so now come to the point how can we create this application what is use reducer and use use context so use reducer is a centralized area where you can maintain your states okay so let me see that one by one so now so basically what i want i need a component right so i just going to create a folder that is going to be a component folder and this component here it is going to be a form here it is going to be a form dot jsx is going to be there and i just going to create or or fce okay form here is there and then here it is going to contain an input in input okay it is going to be an input here it is going to be the what we can say like it is going to contain type several things it is going to contain the text okay you can put text area also depends upon you i just going small application okay so and i just going to say placeholder internodes okay okay this is what it is and here we will going to have a button button and then click okay this is going to be there and we will put everything in a form okay instead of do let me add it in a form okay let me add it in a form and this one i will just going to add below it okay so let me wrap everything inside a fragment and here i just going to say okay here i just going to import the component so what is the component name form submit right f o r m form make sure that it is automatically coming if it is not import it and here you can see the tailwind css a little bit adding some styles okay so here i just uh, going to say some class name class name okay border 1 okay or a uh, two okay you will get a like border like this a uh, color okay border 2 3 like if you have a cheat sheet you can just have a look into it it will be came here and here i just say the class name okay text center like this and then margin m4 in top bottom everything like this okay it is pretty good and here we can add the class name bg bg uh, orange 200 orange 
or we can make it 700 uh, uh, right little bit okay and then we can do padding 12 all the place it is so big it's go for five like the uh, uh, padding top and bottom two padding left and uh, two. let's go for two we'll keep it as simple as we can and here this padding two it will be added to here also like this okay and it should be a rounded okay i will I will showcase you what is uh, the Tailwind CSS and everything. Okay, rounder like this and make it rounder. Make it much more readable. That's it. Okay, and then M two, M or two, margin not right. Sorry, M L two margin left okay like this so uh, this is what our application is and if someone is giving some value we need to get it so now it comes into the uh, hook spot okay let's see how the hooks is now we created the boiler part right so if you want to add it to github you need to keep track of this so how can we do this okay how can we do this let me let me share with you okay so let me do what we can do let us go for here so right now we have made some changes so what i going to do i just look for is any changes is there so if any changes is there we need to look for status you can see these all other changes we deleted something we modified something like this and i want everything to add okay and i just added it uh just a minute okay 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 just a minute i think uh, what happened get status don't pa get panic i think because of some other thing okay uh, get so this is happening because you can see this uh, node modules are getting adding that is the reason what we can do is go for our application okay you can see i just removed the git git ignore also i just removed the git ignore also that is the reason so what we can do i can create a git ignore dot git ignore okay ignore okay create a file and add node modules node underscore modules don't forget this okay now save it so you just want to add which file you don't want to add now i just go here and i just create here as for git status sorry git status you can see this a modifying is there and everything is there now if i add git add you can see some some little bit is there if i look for git status what are the files are in my staging area you can see my node module is this is a great example that if you add a node module how it takes okay you just want to ignore the node modules so then how can i if i want to get it from remote repository how the person is import like right? you just use npm install if you use npm install whatever the packages is needed it will be automatically installed so we don't want to add, store it there while we are downloading we can use it okay so now it is fine now we can say git commit and i can say what is the message that i want to say dot m slash m is a message don't forget the syntax syntax is very much here i can say ui is set ui is set okay and i just click on this that's it and if i go for git log you can see this is our remote repository and this is where we are this commit where we are working on so if i want to add it i can add it right now i don't want to add it i will add it uh, like fully okay so once we completed all the changes now this is fine everything remove this and now what we need to do is we need to maintain the state okay so what i going to do so for that uh, we need to create i just going to create an another folder that is for context to maintain our context okay so i will tell you uh, basically what is use reducer is so use reducer is basically going to be the centralized space where you can uh, store all the methods there okay instead of using it's look like simple same like use state but it having more advantage compared to the use state okay everything is solving the problem of props drilling 
So if you don't want, if you don't know what is state management and prop stilling, I highly recommend watch our advanced course uh, that is freely available in um, YouTube. Just go and watch it. Watch it. That that will be give you and heavy things. Okay. So first, what I'm going to do uh, inside this context, I'm going to create a context. Okay. So I'm just going to create a file. I'm going to name it as context.js or JSX anything. And here I'm just going to import. I need a uh, something called as create context method. And this one from react and this is going to create a context for me i just going to say const of context 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 we can name is context to do okay equal to create context and this is a method i just want to activate and i just want to export default context to do okay that's it so simply we are importing and module uh, sorry a method that is a create context from react and we are saving it into a create context to do and we are exporting default when someone calls this file it will be activated that's it now we don't want this once we done this now we need to create another file that is for our action dot types types dot js okay what is this action dot type dot js well here you can define what all of the action that you're going to do for example if someone enters here if i if someone clicks the button i need to add the to do to the base and if and i just want to delete button is that i just click the button it need to delete it and update like that okay so here we're going to do add and remove delete is what that you're going to do okay so here i can mention uh, like uh, uh, we can say const so so why we are doing this because it will give us a clear understanding what you're going to build, how you are building and everything. Okay, so it will give us a clear understanding. That's what. So I'm just going to say add. So everything in caps, that will be good. Add to do. So simply a string. It is going to be add to do. So defining the things that you are going to do. So it is going to add something. Okay. And here I'm just going to say, then I'm going to have an another one, another method that is going to be remove underscore to do. That is a string. What it is going to do? It is going to remove remove something. It is a string. Uh, we are just uh, keeping like like a notes. Okay, so this one I going to do, and this one like going to do like that. We are going to keep a notes. That's what it is. And here it is going to say export not default. So here we have two things. And if you want to add much more functionality, update functionality, you can come and you can add it here. I can say this add to do remove to do. Okay, what this is going to return is going to return simply this add to do and remove to do. That's what it is. And that's it done to this action type. So action type is basically what we are going to do. Okay. Even though without this, you can go for it and you can write it. But action types will clearly define. Uh, we, we will keep it in a separate place that will give an understanding what, what are the methods that you have worked on, what are all the things that you have worked on. It will give us a better understanding. That's the reason. Okay. And then next one is going to be reducer. Okay. It is going to be a reducer dot js okay so this is one here we're going to build our reducer things so for building our reducer reducer is basically going to be <coughs> the set of changes that we are going to view so here in action to do we just mentioned what i'm going to do like a to do application here we're going to write the actual method okay so to perform that changes so adding something how can i add something how can it is an array so i can push it to the words array and if someone clicks the button i just want to delete it from an array like that how can i do this so that is what here it is going to be so what i going to do i just going to import okay import what are the things i going to import i just going to import add underscore to do from dot slash accent types and here i just going to say remote to do so these two things i need i just imported here and here i just going to create a function that is going to be a const reducer function i just made it as a reducer okay going to be an arrow function and well this reducer function basically contain two things one is going to be the state so the state is basically going to be the initial stage okay so in our case if it is an empty array it is an empty array like this it is an initial stage second one is going to be an action so action is basically the method that we will use to like same like how use state we have the state and the method to update the state so action is also something like a method that we used to update it but here the action is the action is contains several things it's actually an object 
and it contains several things and based on uh, where if i want to add something i need to give some data right all those things are comes inside this action only so let me create this i going to create a switch case and i going to wrap with action dot type okay so it is an object like i say so the action dot type is basically i here this action is going to contain a type so whenever we are using an action we need to pass a type and that type is match match with the case what is the case is going to be add to do if it is an add to do remember what is an add to do it is a string if our action type is match with this add to do then i need to do something so what i need to do something so basically i just going to have a state okay so here i can say like uh, const um we can say like uh, state okay state is an empty state is going to be an empty state okay or we can say simply like um, what we can do is we can simply like this what i can do i just say return okay it is an empty array and whatever the data that is inside our state it need to return let me say this dot state okay comma okay and it going to return an another thing called action dot payload so what i am doing here deeply notice whatever the state is having if it is having nothing then nothing payload action dot type and payload is coming from our application we going to use it okay so payload is the added information whatever i am adding here it is going to come here added information okay this is the thing so this is the second one okay so this for add data okay so first we will add the data then we can remove the data okay so first what i going to do we are having this now let us go for our app.js here here you need to import several things first is the context import red reducer to do import reducer to do from dot slash component slash uh, context slash context right so inside this it is a reducer to do right reducer to do or context to do i think context what is what we have created let we have a look into here it is context to do not reducer to do my bad it is context to do okay we have imported here and other thing is we need to import the reducer reducer from not react reducer from reducer from dot slash component slash reducer okay we have added this okay so now we need to use use reducer hook okay so here it is going to contain use reducer i just going to use the use reducer functionality it is added here and basically it is going to contain two things one is the reducer function that you have created it is going to be there and another one is the initial stage that's going to be my case it is going to be an empty array so here i just going to say this as my to do's okay and then it is going to be set not we use usually we will put set to do's but in a use reducer we will put it as a dispatch okay this is the one difference okay dispatch the dispatch method contains all the actions all the methods the use cases like whatever it is coming from reducer it will contains and the to do's is going to contain this uh, this empty array okay so let me let me let i show you that console.log i just going to say use reducer okay what is this method is returning okay so default import as was not found export default import okay so i just go what i going to do this reducer where the reducer i think i'm not at exporter my bad export default reducer now it is fine let us go for here uh, not index.js app.js let us uncomment of it and i just go and click on inspect click on console and now you can see it is an array basically 
and it is contains right now it is undefined nothing is there inside it and that is going to be a function is there but if i ask what is this one now you can see what we are going to have now what you can what you're going to have it is going to have an array and the it is going to be the zeroth one is going to be the initial array and then it is going to contain some functions and these functions are something that is bounded to whatever that we are passing from the reducer that we created right so it is we are taking from there so now what i need to do it is time to use use context like the context to do okay so now i just going to create a context to do dot provider so basically we are going to avoid this uh, what <coughs> basically we are going to avoid this uh, props drilling okay so whatever the whatever things that you are giving in the provider well you don't want to pass your props to all the child component you can directly pass your props to directly to the component that which needed okay so here each and every provider contains a value so the value is the where you will define everything okay so i just going to say it is an object and that contain to do's and then dispatch okay so now this to do's and dispatch is available for all the child component that is inside this provider okay inside this provider whatever is there it is going to be it, it contains everything okay it is it, it it can able to access it so now let us go for form here it is come functionality here we need to use the use context cook so it is an object so i just going to save this one and i whatever i want to dispatch is to do's to do's and then dispatch exactly the same whatever you are giving here i just going to copy this come for here paste it here let us give use contacts and simple like this and here you need to use the contacts so contacts is going to be imported import contacts to do from contacts and just paste the contacts inside it that's it we have done so now you have access to to do's and dispatch method so now what is the functionality that i want to write is well if someone clicks on this button or the form is submitted i need to do something so i just going to create on submit okay it is going to contain a handle click handle click event okay it is going to contain a handle click event so handle click is not defined let me define it const handle handle click is going to be a function okay so it is going to take up the event and it is going to prevent the event e dot prevent d f a u l t fault check the spelling if the immediate documentation shows you are writing perfect okay prevent default and here i going to check it something okay what i going to check that is okay so the one thing i need to do and another thing is the for this input box i need to do some cases so here what i going to do i going to set a case const const uh, it is going to be the u state u state okay it is going to be an empty string so now what i going to do i just going to control our input changes so i just going to say on change on change if something is changes then probably invoke the uh, we can say to do to do string comma to do set to do string okay i'm going to use this method set to do string here just this one want it set to do string and what i want to set well i just want to keep track of the event and it is going to be e dot target dot value so whenever some changes is happening inside this it is going to set to the to do is going to be set and now I, the another thing is if the value is going to be to do string that's it okay so now here if i ask for console dot log what is to do string okay and here i just say hello 
if i click here just go for inspect click on the console come on come on console you can see we are getting this hello cool and now what i want to do is here i need to check a condition if the to do string is equal to an empty then i just want to return the function here itself i just want to say alert you can use any other thing greater than alert okay i just say please enter to do to add first thing okay and then here what i'm going to do here the thing we're going to use the dispatch so dispatch basically i say like i said it will contains the method that we are adding in the reducer so here it is having add to do we are having a type so we need to give a type and also we need to give a payload so both are comes under this action so what i'm going to do in our form here i just going to say type type is going to be you need to add exactly same thing so i just going to say import add to do from add to do and i just going to copy this one okay and i just going to paste it here okay just give a comma and you need to give a payload what you want to add okay it is going to be a payload the payload is going to be basically the to do string that we are we are getting and once everything is done then i need to set this to do to an empty string empty string okay again to a normal one just give a refresh to check what what we are getting here now what i going to do here whether we, the state is getting updated or not let us go for the reducer okay here before this return let me add a console dot log uh, what is state okay let we have this right click inspect go for it over the console and now let us remove this one now i just going to say hello so basically initially we will get an empty state okay if i just click here you can see what we are getting we are getting an array something like this and hello hello like this no i think uh, this console is not working here uh, we are not getting the console here what we can do let me put this console here hello okay this is working okay we will do one more thing actually we are having this uh, to do's right can we ask for this to do's to work yeah somewhere bottom of the here console dot log to do's to do's okay here i just ask for hello click on here yeah you can see you can see all our hellos are added here okay whatever how many hellos we are added it is added here if i say i just say hi click on this you can see this is the fourth hello now if i just added the previous hi will be added each and every time it will be added so you can see this right so i just give a refresh everything will gone so now what is the time well we need to add our notes right we need to add our notes <coughs> let me create that okay so let me create that so what i'm going to do uh, well we're going to create another component uh, basically go for your main app here so let me create an another component inside the component inside this one uh, form js6 is there let us create a display notes dot jsx and or of cd okay so here basically the same thing you just going to use use uh, const it is going to be to do's okay and then dispatch okay p a t c h dispatch and here you can use the use contacts uh that's it and here you need to add the contacts so it's going to be import contacts to do from contacts and here you just going to have the contacts to do and now i just going to paste it here i just going to say to do's remember that these to do's are in a centralized space which means whatever the child wherever the child component which all are the child that is comes under the provider we provide here 
they having access to the centralized area okay that's what it is and even we can update it also it is going to say dot map map okay this is going to have the to do okay and well if it is having to do what it is going to contain it is going to contain an uh, and two thing okay just a minute i just added a string only okay not an object we are just adding a string only so what we going to do here we will connect the index also okay you can add a string also that is up to you so here i just say return return a do a do okay Okay, you can add some better styling if you want and I just going to add an h1 and this h1 is containing the to do to get away from the uh, key error. I just going to give a key. It is going to be the index. Okay. Okay. Like this and I just going to save it here. Uh, now you can import this display notes anywhere either here also or you can add it here also. So let me add uh, at the bottom of this form. Let's see what we are going to get let me add here or or the better way you can add it in the app directly also okay let me add it here display to do notes slash add here and now now let me check it hello click you can see we are getting hello name click you are getting the name you can see it's working perfectly either you can add it here or you can just cut down this remove here uh, what you can do you can go and add below this okay okay and you can put this this one also in the app module cannot find the context to display notes yeah here it is going to be a little bit different so I just going to say import uh, display notes from dot slash dot slash no dot dot slash dot slash component slash inside the component okay it is I put it inside the context mm -hmm. just say yes slash display notes let me save this model cannot resolve context what is context what is contacts? I'm not getting module error. Cannot fire all the products at 36 lines. What is happening? Okay, I changed the directory, right? Let us go for display notes. And here, not inside the contacts, contacts. Dot slash contact slash contacts. Okay, now if I add it, hello click you will get the hello name please click we'll get the name please please so here what we can do we can add a class text center okay and I just give a padding 12 for all the uh, thing or we can text center it's fine okay you can add uh, some of the grid classes also I just say class uh, grid no I just want to add here grid grid column grid column 3 like this or not right it's grid Okay, just go for uh, Tailwind CSS cheat sheet. I need some cheat ch e a t cheat sheet. Okay, you will find this one. It's a pretty decent cheat sheet. We go for here the template columns dot grid column three. Yeah, I think I just added this one only just remove this text align and let me add this one let me check here okay what is what what it is showing this class name is empty right 
okay what happened i think i removed oh okay and then grid okay so now it is a grid now i can give each and everything a class okay rounded rounded border one oh sorry two rounded border two okay padding sorry not padding p12 padding or you can give your own padding also like uh, uh, padding top and bottom left and right 20 pixel both sides own custom work like this you can give and you can make the gap gap one like this okay how it is looking fine right name like this okay uh, in bigger screen it is pretty ugly i accept this but go for lower screen okay and this is it that's it that's it that's it now what we can do uh, we can make a margin here margin uh, margin 10 all the direction like this let me keep a notes like this and depends upon this it will occupy a space like this we added it now what's that another thing is uh, what's another thing we need to add the delete right delete functionality how can we add this let us go here in these display nodes okay so in this display nodes here i just going to add uh, a button that is going to contain this x mark okay you're going to have this one so right now adjust it if someone clicks this x mark okay i just want to delete this so here i can what can i do is first let us like the logic here reducer is here but in uh, reducer we don't write any logic for uh, delete things right so if it is a type case remove to do okay so what i want to do what i want to do is okay we're going to have state okay and you need to filter the state okay and you need to update the state according to it so we're going to have a to do okay and so the to do is going to be basically uh, that uh, what that payload so it's just going to say to do basically what all are the things that we are storing inside this uh, state means we are storing only the payloads right we are storing only the payloads which means the only the string we are storing it right so i just going to say to do is going to be an array to do is not equal to an action action dot payload not equal to action dot payload okay and i just want to return this let me save this let me work out it and i will tell you if once everything is done okay and here i just going to say on click if someone clicks it this pan button if someone clicks it well i need to perform an function that is going to return dispatch Okay. dispatch type type equal to remove to do okay and then it is going to perform the remove to do and then payload what is going to be the payload payload is going to be the to do that we are fetching from the array it is going to paste it here and if I save it here okay so just go and click this you can see you cannot read the property for undefined a map property is there and it is saying this cannot read it okay let us go here okay so now i just going to say hello click click it is fine first time it will show like this hello name variable access do not worry something like this whatever you want to give you can give just remove this one that particular value is going to be removed so what i did is in someone clicks it 
I am passing two things. One is the type. So based on the switch case, I need to perform this. I am passing this and I am passing the to do. So which means the string, this variable thing, that particular string that we are passing it. And that is go to the reducer. And reducer, first it will check the type, accent or type. If it is to do, then it here it will go. The state contains everything, right? These all are the state to contain everything. And here what I do, filter, it is going to return something. What it is going to return is, so whatever it is returning is going to be the state, okay? The state is returning something, a filtered condition. What it is this? Now I just going to check the to do, whatever the payload I am giving for this remove to do. So the payload is variable, like let us consider the payload is variable. If except this variable, return all other things because not equal to payload. So here variable is equal to pay variable, then it is written a false, then this value is ignored and all the other values are passed to the state. So now if I click on variable, the payload is variable and when it is looping through it, when it sees variable, it will leave that one and it will return it. If I just click on it, variable is removed and all the two things are accepted and it will go and update our state. And like this, click on, click on this, click on this, it will be gone. So this is how it will be work. Okay. So now we have added two things. So now what we need to do, if you want to add a one more thing, okay, that is basically going to be your display uh, like uh, go for your action and here what you need to do is your work note to do your work to do is basically going to be what you need to do is you just want to add uh, an update functionality update functionality Okay, you need to want add the update functionality. How you can do? Just add an update here and just if you have difficulty in adding the functionality for update is, it's very simple. What you need to do, we have states. Okay, so you need to take the state and whatever the value that you are clicking, okay, which is going to be an editable one. You can make it as an uh, editable one. Uh, you just, uh, just click on this and that value would need to come here and you need to add it. Like little bit complex thing is going to be there. You just want to do that one or you can do some other things that you want to add it also you can add it okay so this is the thing that you want to do is and here you need to define it and what is this use context is here let me come use context what is this happening what is this use reducer we see this we have the method in a centralized space and we are updating it anywhere and it is giving whatever when i, I uploaded i just deleted uh, a component from one place all the place it is deleted a centralized space the data is maintaining so what is this context is sending your props to the different different thing okay here you can notice this uh, the props uh, even though i put this display functionality inside this form during that time also the props works fine how because of this use context the use context is also provide the same thing you will just take over the uh, take over whatever you are providing in the value it will be given to the child whenever wherever you want to access it you can access it and if you if you update it it will automatically update it to the place of like uh, if i updated the to do's okay so wherever i updating the to do's if i just updated a state so what will happen uh, it is going to for example here you can see this here we have the to do's and what i did is here we are just adding this to do's and we are just removing the to do's and here uh, in the form dot jsx what we are doing we are going to have the string and here we are updating the string so we can use it anywhere wherever you want to use it and you can use it and this use context with the help of this use context you can uh, update your code also uh, whichever place that you want to uh, change anything uh, or you want to do anything you just update it and it will be changed according to it okay so that's the one good thing that you can use it anywhere that use context without passing to all the child component directly to the component that which is needed that's the one good thing that we can do it so come to the final part now i completed my code so what can i do i can look for git status to see what all the changes is there so we have so many changes i'm just going to say git add everything git mm, git status you don't want to check every time i will be checking for this thing okay so now everything in a staged area i just going to say git uh commit dash m and i just say project completed for notes taking app 
just add it like it will be added now i just say git log you can see right now we are working in this version but our remote area is in this version two two version behind so now what we need to do we need to update our remote git uh add git push origin main if i just update it here now it will be pushed to our main it will take a little bit time that's it now if i just go and click on this one you can able to see our github will be open and here if you notice that click on this uh src just a minute here let me log it git log you can see everything is up to mark everything is there so likewise only if other developer is working he is also can update it you can uh, like how we are pushing it like that we can pull the changed code also okay so likewise we can work on it so this is basic uh, enough right now so uh, we, we will learn it uh, much more things later okay let us go for this src you can able to see the changes that we have made and the display nodes forms works and everything will be here okay everything is added here okay so if you want it what you can do you can just go here go to the file just click on the code copy the code just write git clone and type this one you will in, you can able to install it or you can use this download zip you can install as a zip folder and you can use it and here you can able to see the commits that you have made it just click on this main branch this is the one branch that we have worked so you can work on more branches also you can see this commits totally four commits we have made and all the commits are here and you can able to see what i have done here particular version what i have done and what is the particular changes have been made everything will be everything will be shown here okay so you can see it here and you can see how it is things working and if you want to go for a previous one also you can go for it and this is all about github and we have completed use contacts use reducer once again use reducer is where you will put all your uh, methods in a centralized place and you can update the changes whenever you want like your states and methods in a centralized place use contacts is taking the methods to directly to the props where it needed in instead of passing it to every child component we can use it in the directly to the components that where we needed it that's what it will do it and this is all about version control is also about github also so that's all that's all we have uh, done with that and uh, yeah we have completed and uh, if you want to make any changes to the code you can make the changes and this is what our application is uh, we have created it i think i hope uh, we, you know that this is mobile friendly not we have set for it and uh, there is a tailwind css is that you can set the tailwind css is also for that one so it will be came as quick as possible okay so that's all for today uh, we will see you in the upcoming projects see you bye